can't handle the truth. Okay, today I'm here with an update from last weekend's video, uh, where I'm once again sharing the list that has pissed off a lot of Xbox fans on Twitter so much that they've sent me stupid stuff like all backwards compatibility games over 100, that's what they're saying, are all exclusive to their system, even though most of them are multiplat that they're celebrating. Most of the games that Xbox fans played, the majority of them are multiplats on Xbox 360. For you to get them in backwards compatibility, that does not change the fact that they are still multiplats. Although, they're spamming the shit out of my Twitter, claiming that I should add all 100 of those backwards compatibility games and all individual rare replay games would equal up to a thou uh, uh, 30, I mean, which will make the their list 130 games plus all of these that they don't even want to acknowledge, and that's being more than a PS4 side, that have real individual new IP titles. Most of which they discredit for being indie games, and that is the fewest amount of stuff that we have on our list. Really, it's, it's funny that they've said that most of all of these games are indie titles. I don't see it. They might see it, but I don't see it. I'm going to send this to Crap Gamer. And then we're going to go review his Twitter page. And we're also going to talk about the similarities of Crap Gamer's channel and Next Gen 720's channel. Where I just want everybody to think about this one second before I get to the similarities. When is the last time you saw Crap Gamer or Next Gen 720 do a Xbox only? 2015 exclusive unboxing for a game that they brag about. When is the last time that they did an unboxing for an Xbox One only 2015 title? When is the last time that they did an unboxing for an Xbox exclusive from this year on their channel? When is the last time? Why am I repeating it? Because they repeat the same thing and they trick their fucking subscribers into asking us these questions. Like Crap Gamer's newest video, um, let's refresh it. His new video right here says there's absolutely no reason to own both Xbox One and PS4 right now. He's not talking to... The PS4 owners that want to buy Xbox One. He's talking to the Xbox One owners that want to buy a PS4. Because all the exclusive um, deals that we have, all of the new games that are coming out, they don't like that. He has also saw this list. Him and Next Gen 720 have been retweeted this very list that I've modified. As you can see, I added Soma. Somebody wanted me to add Soma. Uh, somebody wanted me to add Drawn to Death, Killing Floor 2. Kill Strain got confirmed uh, by the developer that is still coming out this year. This game right here, you might not know what it is. It's coming out in September. It's our exclusive. Uh, Dungeon Defenders 2 got confirmed. It was at a kiosk at GameStop that I played. Um, on a PS4 only and PC of course and um, we got this game this got confirmed also you might not know people want to call this an indie title and discredit the value of the title but no don't do that a game is a game and to the developers that work hard on all of these games they deserve our respect Xbox fans this is the reason why you don't have any Japanese titles on your fucking list because you disrespect the Japanese culture and their developers all the fucking time. You think that you say this shit on Twitter and in the comment section of YouTube and the developers don't see that shit. They see it. They hear it. They've been seeing it and hearing it for years. So if you were magically wondering why you're not getting any support from certain types of developers, this is why. Now... Speaking of support from different developers, this is funny. Uh, Xbox fans, when you go back look at the archives, you will see that PlayStation 2 outsold the shit out of the original Xbox. Both systems had Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, but PlayStation had Battlefront a couple more times than you might realize. It had the Battlefront games on the PSP as well. That means PlayStation sold more copies. Not only that, there were more people that owned the PS2 at that time than the Xbox One. So, PS2 alone sold more copies for Battlefront 1 and 2. Like I said, not to mention that the PSP also got some copies sold. 
if you're wondering why the newest version of Battlefront is getting so much exclusive content, well, Sony kind of deserves it because they sold more copies on their system back in the day than you did back in the day. So, Crap Gamer bitching about um, this is very funny. Let me read it off to you guys. I'm going to make sure that I have the direct tweet to this in the links in the description. At GameStop today, you wouldn't even know Battlefront was coming to the Xbox One. Not sure how Sony gets away with it, right? He's not sure how Sony gets away with it. Well, I just told you. Sony sold more copies on the PS2 for Battlefront 1 and 2 than Microsoft did for the original Xbox. That means EA and the people at Star Wars, they do kind of owe Sony this favor. And seeing as though the PS4 has sold more consoles than the Xbox One, well, it's kind of a no-brainer what system you want to give this content to to sell more copies of your title. It's pretty obvious. You can go Google right now, FIFA 2016 Xbox One console bundle, and you'll see it. If you were looking at some of the conferences, I can't, be, I don't remember if it was Gamescom. I think it might have been Gamescom, or it might have been uh, E3, where Microsoft was promoting uh, Fallout 4 as if it was one of their fucking exclusives. And now I, I find out that they have a Madden console bundle coming out. But Sony's the only person doing it to them. But Microsoft just did it last year with Call of Duty. In a year before that with Call of Duty. In a year before that with Call of Duty. In a year before that with Call of Duty. In a year before that with Call of Duty. And then I believe the year before that with Call of Duty. But you ask how Sony gets away from, I don't think they get away from shit. There are tons of developers that own Sony their lives. Their reputation for having a great console known as the PS2 that sold their games to the masses that made them the success that they are today. Once again, Xbox fans don't know history, and they do not respect the developers. That's why he's so fucking uh, dumbfounded when he sees this shit. He better get used to it. One thing we should also understand, beside the key point that I wanted you guys to ask Crap Gamer and Action 720, when is the last time they unboxed a 2015 exclusive only for the Xbox One? Um... Ask everybody, when is the last time we saw Battlefront gameplay for the Xbox One this year? When is the last time we saw Star Wars Battlefront Xbox One only gameplay? When is the last time did we see it? The answer is never. And we know that by not seeing that gameplay, the PS4 version, we have already got the confirmation from the developer is the lead platform in this project, but the PS4 version will look tons, tons, tons better than Xbox One. And that right there itself will be a selling point. Because I guarantee you, if you go to Instagram, it's very hot among all the younger audience, and a lot of adults are using it too, go Put hashtag Star Wars. I guarantee you, if you don't see 7 million, it might have went up to 8 million. When you put Gears of War, you see 1 million. No, no. Halo is 1 million. Gears of War is 100 and something thousand. But the popularity of Star Wars greatly outweighs Halo and Gears combined. As far as hashtags. That right there should really tell a lot of people stuff. About what's going to sell a particular system this holiday season. It's the real reason why Microsoft put Halo in October and not in November. They know what's going to sell. So. When they find out that Square Enix is making yet another PS4 exclusive. With a brand new engine that looks amazing. It's, it's, it's going to piss them off. It's going to surprise them. But once again, they don't respect Square enough to understand their Japanese aspect of their, of their company. And it's funny that Crap Gamer and Next Gen 720 were so surprised to learn about Dragon Quest for the first time. Like, it's like they, they never, they don't know what Dragon Quest is. How can you be a gamer as old as they are and not know what Dragon Quest is? Um, by the way, let's look at this engine. This engine looks amazing. This is the PS4 
uh, version of the engine uh, for Dra um, not for Dragon Quest, excuse me, the PS4 version of the engine for Star Ocean 5. Remember, um, Square Enix tried their luck with Star Ocean on the Xbox system last gen, and it failed. It suffered. It was horrible. That was the only and first time that they put it on the Xbox, and it, once again, they're not going to put it anywhere else. This is multi-platform right here. Also represented in uh, the PS3 version of the engine. So this is the PS3 version of the game, and this is the PS4 version. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose.